<sighs> it's been muted. I feel so bad. Well, fast recap. Fast, fast recap. Okay. If you were, you could have read along. <laughs> I feel bad. I, oh no. I, I, I didn't see the green light going on when we first started, but I didn't see Oh, it. you should have said it. I, like, I, really, like, I feel so bad. Uh, the the series is ruined. No, it's not ruined. Okay. Well, a little recap. So, hopefully, if this is what I would say now, go back and read the cards if you can. But essentially, we got inside the mansion. And as we went inside the mansion, uh, a what, what, what the was guy it? Ran out. Yeah, but it was a, a delivery man. A delivery man was running out from doors inside the mansion through the front door we just came in. He passed out halfway through got back up and ran out the door and when he did so a dart fell off of his coat um and so we decided instead of going to the little door on the side up the staircase zach wanted to go into the room that the guy came <laughs> from and so when we went in there we found oh yeah we a little dart came off and so what we found four guys sitting yeah. around a table Four guys looking like this, sitting around a table, telling war stories. And uh, they didn't notice Zach. And so Zach had the option to either go across the room into the kitchen or try the glowing door that's rattling. He chose the glowing door and opened up the room to a long hallway with blue wispy white lights going around. And... Uh, apparition. An, ab an apparition coming towards him slowly and calmly. Zach was frozen with fear, could not move, and slowly oh! it came up to him and sliced him to death. Zach died, and uh, we said it's kind of like a live, die, repeat, or uh, <laughs> edge of tomorrow, rather. And Zach wakes, wakes back up in the kitchen with the four men and decided to go to... Uh, sorry, go uh, the dining room with the four men and decided reload to go. Checkpoint. Yeah, go. Yeah, reload checkpoint and go to the kitchen. Inside the kitchen, he found a he f uh, cupboards and inside the cupboards he found a secret passage. And inside the fridge, he found our tasty sandwich, which is going to act like the first aid kit from the first chapter. So so sorry that you missed uh, that because we were muted. Um, but yeah, that's a short recap. So we're continuing with. Uh, Zach decided he didn't want to go to the wine cellar because he's not a drinker <laughs> and is instead going down through the small cupboard into a secret that passage. That makes no sense. I, I think it's awesome. It's like maybe like a cupboard underneath like the like the stove or something like a okay, cutting yeah. and then like there's like a small passage like Willy Wonka or that something. That makes a bit more sense. I don't know. I'm, when I, when I, I hear cupboard, I think of like where you put usually cups and bowls and stuff like up top so oh like, yeah yeah i mean maybe it's, maybe it's even up there like you could like like crawl up into the secret passage or something you maybe. know this is weird i love it i'm so down let's go <laughs> okay you entered an extravagantly decorated master bedroom a dressing table with a fancy mirror sits against one wall across from the, a canopy bed covered in burgundy silk the ghost of a uniform general sits on the bed that's the same type of uniform that you were seeing. Uh, so with it's the, just a ghost uniform? Uh, the ghost of a uniform. Of a union general sits on the bed. Okay, so the ghost of the general sits on the bed facing away from you. Oh, but his uniform is on the bed. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. As the floor creaks beneath your step, the ghostly figure turns and leaps to his feet. He has a fearsome scowl on his face and an empty scabbard on his belt. Coward! Traitor! Thief! He yells as he approaches. There is an open door on the far side of the room, through which you glimpse of a bathroom with dark green tiles. You could also retreat back to the hallway to escape the Phantom's Wrath. So, optional free action. If you have clue two, do you have clue number two? Let's see. You do not have clue number two. Would this be clue number two? Yeah, but you don't. You never got it. So you do not have. That was the sword. Maybe. Wasn't it? I don't know. We'll have to see. Don't look at because it. Because it said an empty scabbard. Anyways, continue. Uh, to do so, discard it and draw clue number thirty-two. You cannot. Oh. If you do not have clue number two, continue below. 
optional challenge, fight the ghost. Do you want to try fighting the ghost? So I can fight the ghost or run to the... Or, so you can either fight the ghost, you can run to the bathroom, or you can try to escape back down the hallway you came from. Let's fight the ghost, dude. You're fighting the ghost? Let's go fight. Dude, you're I taking can... all the challenges. Fight I like yeah, it. Bro. Okay, so I assume you're using your pocket knife. Your handy dandy pocket knife? Against a ghost, yes. Okay, so you need to roll a three. A three or better? Uh huh. Aha! Gotcha. Uh -huh. He rolled a four! Okay, so win. Draw clue number 51. No ghost has ever beaten me. <laughs> I not win the not yet. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. I died by one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You swing your fist at the spirit, and you're, and you're surprised that your blows actually land. You're really punching a ghost. The fight is long and difficult, and by the end of, the, end of it, the room's in pretty bad shape. However, the ghost seems impressed with you. That's the best fight I've had in ages, he says. I guess you deserve some answers, then. Oh. Oh, lower danger meter by four. And go to 34. Look at Sweet. that! Yeah, yes. you finally get some good luck. Yeah, you, you're uh, you're getting some good luck now. Okay. I want my telepatheticness to move up though. Yeah, you you definitely need your telepathy <laughs> to go up. <laughs> or psychic ability is not telepathy. Okay. <clears throat> I am General Henry Martin of the Union Army, and this estate has passed through my family for generations. Ever since the first settlers built this town, I regret that I cannot stay long, for though our meeting has invigorated me, I must soon return to my penance below. Before I go, however, I will answer any one inquiry you might have. So, choose one then continue. Any inquiry that's on the paper. <laughs> yes. You may either ask the ghost about the noises in the basement. You may ask the ghost about other ghosts in the mansion. Or you can ask the ghost about your nightmares. Oh. The first one doesn't sound too appealing. So you don't want to ask the ghost about the noise in the basement? No. But okay. the middle one, like about the ghost, I feel like that could raise my psychic level. And then you can also ask the ghost about your nightmares. Yeah. But I feel like that would be the obvious choice almost, you know? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? You know what? Let's learn about the ghosts. Learn about the ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Clue number 36. Those ghosts are born of tragedy, he says. He hands you the newspaper clipping detailing a fire at the Hedgebrook prison. All of the inmates were locked inside during the blaze. He drops his head, and his voice becomes a whisper as he says, None survived. He continues, This house was built on the prison grounds, and its spirits have always been restless. But something has riled them up these recent weeks, and they've grown even angrier. Mm. So it used to be a prison, and the prison burned down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apparently this is what he looks like as he's waving to you goodbye. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> uh, you can either now return to the hallway, or you can check out the bathroom. Bathroom. The bathroom? Okay. Let's get some Tylenol. Tylenol. Okay. So the, the ghost of... Mr. Mardson disappears and you go over to the green tile bathroom. You enter the bathroom and close the door behind you, only to jump about three feet in the air when the door suddenly bulges into inward and with a loud thud, frost spreads across the bathroom room mirror and you stand so still you can almost stop breathing until the frost finally stops spreading. It recedes and the scary bulging door returns to its normal shape. Because I stopped breathing? I don't know. Frost spreads across the bathroom mirror, and you stand so still you almost stop breathing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, the bathroom is decorated in various shades of green, and a clawfoot tub sits 
against one wall. There's a hatch in the ceiling. Maybe it leads to the attic. You lean out a small window and see a drain pipe in, on the house's exterior wall. Leading out farther, you see another window and through it, paintings on the wall. The sun is setting and the rain is really coming down now. So climbing the drain pipe to the gallery would be tricky. So it sounds like you have the options to try the hatch in the attic. Or, yeah, optional challenge. Climb down the drain pipe to the window of the art gallery. Or, okay. Ugh. No, this is just an optional challenge. This, oh. Optional challenge to climb down, climb down. Oh, wait, so then what's the other choice then? It's just... It, it doesn't have it. This is an optional challenge. Read the top and then I get to go to the bottom, depending on what you do. So then if I don't, what happens? It's just up to you. I, do you do you try the do you try the pipe? Sure. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. Dude. So, climb down the drain pipe to the window of the art gallery. Uh, Is it's this a, immediately I slip and die again? It's I don't know. It's a it's a climbing challenge. You don't have anything. So no beat. Strength. So yeah, you have to get a three. Three or better. Oh yeah. He gets a six. Okay. Lower danger meter by four. Oh. So does that mean I'm at like negative no. one or something? Um, and go to story card number 32. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Stepping into the marble floor, the marble floored art gallery, you are amazed by more than a hundred gold framed paintings plus countless abstract modern sculptures on pedestals. Wow! This entire collection must be worth gazillions! Too bad... This really was written in the 70s. Gazillions! <laughs> Too bad you've got no time to admire any of it. You're eager to keep moving. French doors lead to the study, and a door leads outside. You can see a pathway leading to an a attached structure that appears to be a mother-in-law apartment. Okay. Premonition. If you are level two or higher, then it leaves. So. It leaves. Yeah. The, your premonition. Oh. You can't see anymore. If you walk through the French doors to the... You can make... Sorry. Walk to the French doors to the study. Or you can take the path outside to the mother-in-law apartment. Where'd the monster go? I don't know. It might still I'm be like stalking. I'm so skeptical, skeptical about going outside anymore because of that freaking thing, but it just like went poof. So I can either go to the mother-in-law apartment or what was the other one? You can go through the French doors to the study. Let's go to the study. You want to go to the study? Yeah. Let's, stay, let's stay in the house. Once inside the study, you were shocked to find 12 pairs of eyes staring at you in outrage. Oh. You, you stopped dead in your tracks. There are, dozens, there are a dozen shady-looking people, all stuffing briefcases with bundles of cold, hard cash. Oh. Literally, they're taking money out of ice-filled coolers. You take another step, and all but one of the guys take off, suddenly spooked. The last one turns and glares at you. Since he's still holding the briefcase tightly with both hands, you're pretty sure you can take him. You see a hallway on the other side of the room that might serve to be a quick exit. So wait, hold on. Are these ghosts or are these people? It just said, all it said was shady looking people. So these are people. These aren't even ghosts. Optional challenge. Wrestle the man with the cash-filled briefcase. Let's do it. You want to do it? I, All right. I ain't got no strength. Can I use my pocket knife? You can. Okay. Here you go. Sweet. Roll a two. Ugh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, you rolled a two. If you didn't have the pocket knife, you would have lost. Okay. Clue number 38. For the binoculars, see a weakness. Because <laughs> apparently they find stuff in drawers. Right. So. <laughs> You are currently holding a... Okay, so you win the fight. Yeah. You are currently holding a briefcase that contains more money than Sergeant Morrison and De Detective Murphy, Murphy earn in two years. Your psychic senses tell you that this is an important item. 
Keep this item. Move, it, move forward one space on the psychic scale. Yeah. Ah. Finally, we move up a little bit. All right. So I now have a briefcase full of money. Briefcase full of more money than two of your superiors make it in two years. I like this. Guy. I love the. It's like specific. Okay. After challenge, continue below. Okay, you're gonna head down the hallway. So literally, like I just wrestled it out of his hands, and now we're friends. No, he left. Oh, he just leaves when I take. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, head down the hallway by drawing clue number forty-five. Okay, you race down the hallway past photographs and paintings of an old prison. You reach the end of the hall and find a metal door. You can come in if you want. Intrude. You doing something? Have you ever heard those, uh, like, choose your own adventure books? Yeah. Yeah, this is a game based on it. I did one once. It was pretty fun. Yeah, this is it was really fun. That is pretty cool, though. I've only died three times. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you play. Okay. Then you go, then you go to the end and see the stories. Like, how do we get to the story? Right? Yeah, I cheated all the time. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Parker Miller just said he cheated with these games. Okay. Chapter 2, goal achieved. You found the access to the basement. You shove the metal door open. When you close it behind you, clink! It sounds like the door to a jail cell slamming shut. You turn to check out where you are. That's an elevator. You get in, press the closed door button, and finally get a moment to catch your breath. And you can't believe what you've been through so far. But this elevator should be your ticket to the basement. And that should bring you one step closer to uncovering the mystery of the sounds you heard when you first entered the Marsden house. Now that you know where the elevator is, you wonder if you should go to the basement now or go back to the in investigate anything you might have missed. So, there are items in this chapter that... Blah, 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 blah. So, you may either go up the stair, upstairs hallway, um, you may go to the main dining room again, you can go to the sol solarium. I don't know what a solarium is. It, it kind of sounds like a sunroom almost. Um, or you may go back to the gallery. Hmm. Or so yeah, sorry. So let me give you your options one more time, just so that you have them in your head. So you can go downstairs through the elevator. You can go upstairs. You can go to the main dining room. You can go to the gallery, or you can go to the solarium. S A L A R I U M. Uh huh. What is that the Latin? Some paid to soldiers for salt. What? what? S wait so S O L oh I did S A L oh sorry S O L A R I U M so like solar eum a room fitted with extensive areas of glass to admit sunlight okay so it's like a sunroom so you can go to the sunroom the, the art gallery the main dining room or upstairs or you could continue with the elevator and go downstairs let's go upstairs you can go upstairs okay. So you track back through the mansion. So if I were to go downstairs, would that be the next chapter? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh. What's this random battery for still, though? What's this know. random little glowing vibrator thing? I don't know. It says to keep the item, though. You might find a use for it. The stairway leads up to a long hallway. A violet rug with tasseled edges runs the length of the hall, and strange abstract paintings line the walls. A vase of lilies sits on the ornate side table halfway down the hall. A gorgeous wooden piece of rich floral engravings on the front and sides. Without warning, a ghostly figure comes through the, the door up ahead of you on your right. The ghost doesn't acknowledge your presence as he rushes right through the closed door on the other side of the hall. The hallway seems colder than when you entered. Should you follow the ghostly figure or perhaps inspect the room he came from? Optional challenge. Search the ornate table in the middle of the room. If you are level 2 or higher on the psychic scale, add 1 to your roll in addition to rolling a psychic booster. So you can still do it. You just don't get a bonus. Let's check the table. Okay. So. We'll use these high-powered binoculars. That's <laughs> so weird that, how that works. Uh, just don't roll a 1. Uh. 
You rolled a one! You lost! Raise the danger meter by one. Okay. So, do you follow the ghost, or do you go to the room the ghost came from? I want to see the table again. You can't. You can't look at the table, man. You didn't find anything. Yeah, sorry. I should say it that way. You look at the table, and it's a, it's a nice table. It's a nice table. Yeah, it, actually, it's got a really nice oak finish on it. Nice. With a little bit of, you know, you can smell the burgundy, you know. <laughs> the expensiveness. Yes, yes. Let's go where the ghost was, is going. Not is go you're following yeah, the ghost? Following the ghost. Okay. Is he going to turn around and stab me? Huh. We'll play it out. Because why not? Okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay. <laughs> what? You enter an extravagantly decorated master bedroom. A dressing table with a fancy mirror sits against one wall across from a canopy bed covered in burgundy silk. Mm, burgundy. <laughs> the ghost of a Union general sits on the bed, what? facing away from you. What? As the floor creaks beneath you, the ghostly figure turns and leaps to his feet. He has a fearsome scowl on his face, an empty scabbard on his belt. Coward! Traitor! Thief! What? He yells as he approaches. You feel that you've been here before. There's an open door on the far side of the bedroom through which you glimpse a bathroom with dark green tiles. You swear you're going to retreat back to the hallway you came from. I'm so confused. Optional challenge, fight the ghost again. Wait, does it actually say again? No. Oh. Sure. Let's yeah? fight the ghost again. Okay. With my Kenefe. Get a two. Ah. Okay. He got it. Okay. Draw clue 51. This is so weird. What? This already happened. Deja vu. Deja vu sets in as you best the ghost. Was that really he says, said? that's the second best fight I've ever had in ages. <laughs> I guess you deserve some answers then. Are you just saying that or does it actually read No, like no, that? no. I'm just... Okay, okay. I approve. I approve. That was throwing me off even more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, ask the ghost about the noises in the basement. Um, ask about the ghosts in the mansion, or ask the ghosts about your nightmares. So exploring the house more, like I can, I can ask, like potentially find the answers. You for can, all you three. can, you can find. You, can, I'm assuming you can find the ghost of Mr. Mardson again and again as he walks throughout the mansion. Um, well, the third question. I want to know the about the dreams. You want to know about your nightmares? Yeah. Okay. The ghost's eyes look grim. I would have turned back if I were you. The source of those nightmares is something truly frightening indeed. You don't want to tamper with forces that are far beyond you. You won't fare well. Oh. Okay. The apparition waves goodbye and leaves. You can return to the hallway or go check out the bathroom. Let's get, let's get another sandwich. Or wait, hold on. What, what did we... We didn't even find anything in the bathroom. If I go to the bathroom, then... I don't know. Let's see. Return do you, me do you remember? Yeah, do you remember what was in the bathroom? There wasn't anything. Like, I looked up the... Oh, there was the... The... Attic, whatever. Let's go to the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Let's see if there's another drain pipe. Can I get another briefcase? I don't know. I have no Four idea. Four years worth of money? <laughs> <laughs> Four years worth. Um, okay. So. You enter the frosty bathroom. And again, you see the open window that you just came through. Rain spattering through as the storm gets stronger and stronger. The pipe is still intact, so you can run down the pipe. Going back to what's outside the gallery and the, the stone... Oh, the, the stone place. There's sta the st statue yeah. garden. <laughs> uh, but the bathroom is decorated in various shades of green. 
There's a cloth foot tub that sits across against one wall. There's a hatch in the ceiling. Maybe it leads to the attic. You lean out the small window to see a drain. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So climbing the drain. So you can go out through the window, or you can try the attic. Let's go to the attic this time. Want to the attic? Okay. So. Okay. So confused with this. It's like this already happened. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like you're going through a, a, a ghost house, maybe. You know, I don't know, like the, the Marsden Manor. Um, after a short climb, you're in the attic. It's a dusty and creepy. Oh, sorry. It, ah, it's dusty and creepy. Sometimes I like add words. It's right? like my dyslexia, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's dusty and creepy, and there's another ladder here. The second ladder leads to the roof, but you can see through the window that the storm has really intensified. It's pouring outside now. You poke your head out through the window and discover a stout vine on the outside wall that could easily support your weight. And most importantly, thanks to the wide overhang, climbing out the way this way would keep you dry. You can see through French doors on the ground floor that lead into a study. So, if you climb up the ladder to the roof, you can go somewhere. Or you could climb down the sturdy vine to the study. But I was already in the study. Were you in the study? Yeah, that's where I got the briefcase. Are you sure? Was it not? It was the gallery. Oh. Let's go to the study. You want to go to the study? Okay, so you climb down. Do you need a roll? You don't. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, you might have gone to the study. Oh, no, you're right. That is where you got the briefcase. So if I go there again, then what's going to happen? Let's see. I don't know. You, you want to still? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. I don't think you'd get two briefcases. Because if you were to win the fight, it would tell me to, to get the oh, same so clue. Oh, you, so you're, you're not looking at another one. You're looking at the same one that we already I, read? Yeah, this is the pile we haven't touched. It's telling me to go to number 33, and 33 is in what we've already done. So then that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, so you can either... Climb down the vine to the study that you've been to before. Because maybe maybe the guys came back, you know, once you were gone. I don't know. We'd make up the story if you were going down there. Or you can go to the cl climb the ladder to the roof. Let's go to the roof. You want to go to the roof? Yeah. I mean, like. In a way, it still makes sense because it's like there's multiple ways to get to the study, and if you were to go to the study, just the person would have to, you, your group would just have to be keen enough to know that like, okay, you're back to the study, you know? Yeah. Type thing. But then, the story would continue though. It's like you see two shady looking people. I guess I wouldn't say that. You know, I'd be like, you're back to the study, everything's abandoned, and then I would just go to the bottom of the card that says there's a hallway or there's a staircase. You know? It takes. Yeah. Okay. After sending the ladder, you're on the roof. It's completely drenched from the rain, which of course means that you're probably completely drenched from the rain. But one thing up here looks completely dry. The apparition of the Union General who is standing right in front of you. <laughs> Traitor! He shouts as he grows 20 feet tall. What the? I grant you safe passage through my ancestral hall. Home, he screams in your face, and this is how you repay me? You have no idea why he would be so offended by someone climbing on top of his roof. But you never get this up but, but you'll never get this opportunity to find out. A gust of wind from his scream from his screaming throws your body like a hockey puck against a low railing, and you fall and land with a thud on the ground far below, crushing your internal organs in the process. This is so dumb. <laughs> The end. Move back one space oh on the psychic scale God. and return to story card 53. This is what he... Crier! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, he's on the box. Okay. Story card 53. So, you climb down the vines to go Apparently in the study to again. the study. So, which means I have to go into the room. He was such a pal before. He was such a pal. <laughs> Let me just 
turned around and yeeted me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you climbed on his roof, dude. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah. It's the one no-no. <laughs> okay. You climb down the vine and quickly hurry into the study as the storm is beating outside. You enter a room, expecting to find the men back for their briefcase but you only find an empty room with wind tattering the blinds. Um, you see a hallway on the other side of the room that might serve to be a quick exit. Let's go to the hallway then. I guess. Okay, number 45. Is this one just going to simply say, You die. <laughs> <laughs> No explanation, just a piece of paper. You die. <laughs> this is. This has to be like the same people who made House of the Hill. I don't know. Uh, inside, see that go on the inside? It's promotional. On the back side, it should be promoting a different game they've done. Oh, it's Z Men Games. They did oh, Pandemic. Pandemic. Okay. You race down the hallway past photographs and paintings of an old prison. You reach the end of the hall and find a metal door. Find a metal door? Is this going to bring me back to the basement again? I was trying to find cool stuff and all I did was die. <laughs> and all you did was go in a circle and die. <laughs> I got a briefcase, I guess. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Briefcase full of money. Can hey. I, like, bribe? What does the... Okay, never mind. Continue. I'm sorry. What? I was thinking that the briefcase, like, you can bribe one ghost for something. No, I don't, something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. All it, all it says is... I'm, I have more money than my I mean, you got one You got one psychic power for that. True. Yeah. They're probably lost. <laughs> okay, so you're back at the elevator, feeling lesser for your wear. And uh, you can either travel up the upstairs hallway, you can go to the main dining room, you can go to the sunroom... You can go to the gallery, or you can go down the elevator. Let's go down the elevator. You want to go down the elevator? Yeah, dude. Okay. You look back and you're like, I, I am not running <laughs> into the ghost of Mr. Mardson one more time. Little general guy being rude. He was okay. such a pal before. Not no more. <laughs> we found access to the basement, and we start chapter three. All right, that will be it for this night. I doubt we can get the chapter three punched out in 30 minutes, and I definitely don't want to rush it. So, yeah, this is super fun. I'm going to keep our items, and we'll continue this next Wednesday. Yeah, Sounds you good. want to come back and do chapter three? We're ready to we'll do like a little recap more. too. <laughs> yeah, sweet. So you are psych level number two, and your danger is at level two. I'm going to take a little picture after this, but thank you. For joining tonight, guys, this is really fun. I actually, I love this. This is awesome. This I, is really fun. This I wish really we cool. started this earlier, kind of like a, like a little a series of things to do. Yeah. So, yeah, join us next time, and you guys have a great night. Say goodbye.